a frog that didn't know how to swim. Olga, I think we need to make a treehouse. A big one that we can all stay in together. Yeah, yeah. I'd love it if it were a nice big house with a kitchen and everything. What do you mean a kitchen? We're not going to cook in it. We're going to play. I know we're not going to cook, but it would be nice. Hello, little frog. Why are you crying? Ever since I was little, I've never known how to swim, and I don't dare go in the water. I could drown. How do you know you don't know how to swim if you never tried? You have to try at least once. That way you'll know whether you can swim or not. Come on, be brave and jump in the water. We'll be here to help you. If something happens, we'll grab you right away. Come on, you can do it. We're here for you if you need us. <laughs> little frog, little frog, don't leave. We want to help you. Poor little frog. He was so scared that he didn't even try. Let's go ask the guys if they've seen him. Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Have you seen a frog jumping anywhere around here? What do you mean a frog? There are no frogs here. All the frogs are in the lake. They're swimming. No, I haven't seen a thing. Hmm. Mm -mm. We saw a frog a moment ago that was really sad because it didn't know how to swim and was afraid that his friends wouldn't help him. We told him that we were going to help him, but he was really sad and jumped away. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. How can that be? All frogs know how to swim. What are you, a parrot? I'm not a little parrot. I'm a cow. Talalo is a parrot. Talalo, Talalo, wake up. Talalo. Talalo, are you a cow? I already knew that. You are a parrot, aren't you? Well, if nobody's seen a little frog around here, we've got to keep looking for him. <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Hello, little frog. <laughs> little frog, I know of a way for you to learn how to swim. All right, see that puddle? It's so small, so small that it's impossible to drown in it because it's not deep at all. You have to jump in and you'll see that nothing will happen to you. Come jump with me into the puddle. As you can see, it's not very deep. The water only comes up to my knees. Now you gotta copy what I do. Swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim and swim, swim. You see, it wasn't that hard. Now you've just got to do the same thing in the big lake. We did a great job. We make an awesome team. All right, high five. 
Milo, what happened to the frog you were looking for? It was awesome! We saw the frog hiding by the lake because it was afraid to swim. But then we taught him how. And he learned so fast that he jumped from the puddle right into the lake. And what did you all do? Just hanging out with this little parrot who won't quit repeating everything I say. Hey, who won't quit repeating everything you say? You're doing it again, little parrot. Do you really think I'm a parrot? I thought you knew I was a cow. Moo. This summer, I'm going to go to the beach and go get some sun and go swimming. I haven't gone to the beach in years. How long have you been afraid of water? You're kidding, Talalo. I would have never guessed that you were afraid of anything, much less of water. Don't worry. You won't have to swim here. We'd better go back home now because it looks like there's a storm heading this way. Yes, let's go inside because it's supposed to rain today. Oh! Look how hard it's raining! I really love rain. So do I. It could rain for days and days. I love it. Let's take a walk around the terrace. Momo, you'd better come inside because it's raining real hard and you're going to get struck by lightning. Nothing can happen to me. The rain is my friend. It's my friend too. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Ooh. Oh, that lightning came really close, didn't it, Moo Moo? It was way too close. I think it'd be better if we went inside. I'll go first. It wasn't Moo Moo. It was the rain. It rained all night long, and now look what has happened. Everything is underwater. So that means technically we are now an island. We are now Vida Island. Forget about that. We are now Habits Island. Yeah, that's it, Habits Island. Who wants to go swimming with me? I'll go in with you. I'm going swimming, too! Now it's my turn! But I'm diving in from the roof, as if it were a diving board. Hey, wait for me!
impossible, Talalo. There are no sharks in here. A shark? There aren't any sharks here, Talalo. A what? Help me! There's a shark! A, a shark! Somebody do something! Swim faster, Alfred! It's gonna catch us! I'm swimming as fast as I can! We're all safe now! For a moment, I thought he was going to gobble me up in one bite! That was really scary! It's a surfboard! Now what do we do? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Strange noises. I'm a little scared of monsters. I know they don't exist, but I'm still kind of scared. Well, I'm not afraid of anything, much less monsters, since we all know they don't exist. But I've seen some really strange things and heard some really strange noises that I have no idea how to explain. Just because you can't explain where the noises are coming from doesn't mean that they're hidden monsters. Well, maybe you're right. And all the noises I'm hearing are... <laughs> I'm sure that was just the wind. The wind doesn't make that kind of sound. It came from that bush there. Oh, don't be silly, Moo Moo. You'll see that it was nothing. I'm going to hit it with this stick so you'll see there's nothing there. Let's go, Rita. It's nothing. It's just a... explanation for this. There are no monsters. When we find out what it is, we'll have a good laugh. <gasps> Moo Moo, tell me exactly what happened. While Rita and I were walking peacefully along the dirt road, we were just minding our own business, talking about important matters, and all of a sudden we heard a loud roar. First, we thought it was Rita's belly, but then, thanks to my intelligence, I deduced that there was a monster hidden in the bushes. Rita took a stick to battle against it. But then she screamed again, and we both ran away. We've got to go and investigate that noise. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? There's a monster. Don't go there. Yes, it's horrible. You can't just go. <sighs> They've left us all alone. Uh, how about we go with them? No! There's a monster! Oh! The monster's hiding behind that bush. What do you think it could be? I already know it can't be a monster, but I'm still scared. Don't you worry. 
There must be a logical explanation. He's going to devour us all. Run! That sound is coming from some sort of huge beast. At the very least, it's a wild lion. A uh, lion? Oh, lions like to eat giraffe meat. I don't want to be his snack. Bye-bye. Uh, that lion's going to eat all of us. I think that we better get out of here right away before it's too late. Milo, we better go home because that lion could devour us in one bite. Yes, Olga, we better go. I'm not scared or anything, but I'd rather go home for a snack. Yes, yes, a snack sounds like a good idea. Mumu, Rita, we're going. Want to come? And so what are we going to do about the lion? We leave him here. We don't want to end up being his meal. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. No! no! Talalo, oh, don't do no. it. If you mess with the lion, don't he's going to no. take revenge on <laughs> us. It's Alfred. He really scared all of us. I knew it couldn't be a monster, because monsters don't really exist. So then, Alfred is a lion? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone staring at me? Can't anyone sleep in peace around here? Sleep? Yes. But you were snoring like a wild animal. We thought you were a lion. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He breathes with style. Excuse me, but Sir Alfred doesn't snore. He roars. Rawr! So then, Rita is also a lion? <laughs> <laughs> we all got a bit scared. I knew it couldn't be a monster because they don't exist. But I still got scared. And I was also scared, but just a little bit. Well, I wasn't scared at all. I knew right away it was Alfred snoring. You're a bunch of scaredy cats. Ah! A lion! A 